Star Sam, Lord Commander of TikTok Organic Marketing and, and all things getting results for clients. How are we doing good, sir? I'm very good. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs> could you could you share with everybody um, what your business is, what revenue level you are at right now so they get a context of this conversation? Yeah, perfect. So I run a an organic TikTok marketing agency specifically for realtors, personal brands, and restaurants. So currently we're at 55,000 month recurring revenue and we're working with only serious people. So yeah, yeah high, higher, higher level people. And you I'm just, sorry. you, you just signed a big deal to you. Can you let everyone know what that, what that, that deal looked like. Yep. So I signed a $9,500 client who signed for six months. So that's a really huge win for me, considering that I almost touched the five figure per month mark from one client. Because I think previously what I did wrong was I had a really good service, but I was just targeting the wrong group of people. And I was kind of like on the fence of charging more because um, I didn't quite get the results in the past of what I wanted for my clients. But over time, as we scale and the results are proven, it's like, Nobody can dispute the amount of like investment they have to make to scale to that level. So I'm really grateful that I have joined Client Ascension because I think it's helped me to systemize the process really, really well. And especially like jumping on a poll with you, I've learned so much in terms of like operations because previously I was just doing the work myself and it was a huge struggle because I, my time is much better focused on creating content because that's what I'm good at. And I am currently in Dubai at the moment. So I've left my team to literally just fulfill operations while I'm not there. So this is something, this is, if there was any goal that I wanted for 2022, this was the one, which is like to systemize the entire process and clean scale the clients that I want to work with, as opposed to having to work with any Tom, Dick and Harry, uh, because our service is not for any Tom, Dick, and Harry. It's for people who are serious. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I remember saying that to you because we, we had a good acquisition system in place, but I remember having a conversation with you where it was, all right, well, you're working like 12 hours a day. And if you sign <laughs> more, you're just going to, you're going to get to a point where you're going to like, you're going to not be able to fulfill that many people. So we yeah. I, we went through a period where, all right, Sam, we're not going to sign clients right now. We're going to actually operationalize this. And I know Andre helped you with it a lot in terms of creating an actual system and yeah. hiring people and getting yeah. those hires. I actually people. jumped. Yeah, I actually jumped on a call, just one call with Andre, and I immediately like executed afterwards because it's very easy. Like you guys broke it down because I think a lot of agency owners get stuck because they don't know how to fulfill. And once they scale, they don't know how to maintain the level of professionalism and service quality to the clients. So I think that really helped me out a lot because the operation, operation, the operation side of things really opened up my pathways to focus on what I'm good at, which is creating content for my TikTok, YouTube, and essentially strategizing for my clients. So I hired many different staff members has helped me out heaps. Um, you've introduced me to like Kyle, for example, so in client ascension. So that's helped me a lot in terms of buying back the time that I wasted, um, not wasted, but buying back the time that I've um, spent on operations, which is because that's not what I want to focus on. Because when you're scaling, obviously at some stage in your life, in, in the business, you have to be focus on the operation side of things. But over time, as you scale, you want to be finding people who are more talented than you to be involved in the operation side of things. Hey, if you are running a marketing agency or a B2B business, whether that's a TikTok agency like Sam or any other kind of business you sell your products to other businesses to, I want to show you how we took 191 people and made them over 
$20 million simply by sending cold emails and organic marketing. I'm going to leave a link in the description to clientascension.com if you want to get results like Sam and you want to see all the other people we've got results for. I got it there. The entire system we have them do is inside there. I'm going to explain it all. It's super simple. Anybody can do it and it works extremely well. Go to the description. You can see it. But let's get back to the video. Yeah, now you're in Dubai and your business is running. Like the full, like yeah. the, the deliverables that are due to your clients are being produced independent of you, which is exactly the whole point of doing this in the first place. You can sign as many clients as you want, but it's like, well, what's the point if you're just working another job? If the whole function is to be a CEO and people, people will say that and then. Like they yeah. never, they never try to never build out an actual system and actually hire people. So I think, I think that's probably the reason why you're growing and why you're, you're going to continue to grow clearly. I know you have like a ton of leads in your pipeline too. They're going to convert. Yeah. And they're all like high level people. It's not like, it's not like little baby deals. It's like, no, no, no. We're selling like $9,000 per month plus type things like premium service to premium clients with a yes. systematized delivery system. Like that's, that's the whole function of this, but I kind of want to, let, let's kind of dive into, cause you're, you're really good at, at TikTok, and I've, I've, you've shown me your client results and you're really able to do this well. And there's a whole ton of short form content agency owners out there. You are objectively in the top 1% of them. Could you talk about, Maybe if you have like a methodology or 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 way you like to do things that 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 makes you able to get results like that. If you if you want to touch on anything in regards to that, yeah, I think the most important thing when it comes to producing really powerful short form videos is understanding what your audience wants from you. For example, if you are creating content, putting up volume, but if you haven't asked your audience, hey, what do you want to see from me? Let's like you're literally putting out like for nobody to see. It's more important who's seeing it as opposed to the amount of views that you're getting. That's what I've realized after scaling my TikTok agency to about 9 million plus organic views. You can check out the website that I, that I have um, in, on my page. Um, we've scaled to 9 million plus organic views with no paid ads, zero boostings and added 30% of sales to our clients' uh, business. And I think objectively what we've done different was like, understanding like really going in deep with regards to what the what the market really wants like from the TikTok space like that is the thing that you should nail first before start creating hormosi style of content because there's so many different people creating hormosi style of content but what separates you from the rest is knowing what you're talking about and understanding what your market wants i think it just boils down to that and once you get that there's a mixture of different things. Um, it's actually like a system that I've introduced that I found to work really well. It's called NUIC. So anything with regards to content that is new, unique, interesting, controversial, will go viral on TikTok. It just will. Like as long as you know what you're talking about, as long as you're posting at the right time, means as long as you are, as long as you know what your audience wants from you. The reason why. You know, Andrew Tate, for example, he got really famous on TikTok. I mean, he's really famous for this, but his short form content got really, you know, like maybe like 10 million views, I think 11 billion views on TikTok. The reason for that is not by chance or accident. He says controversial stuff and just, you know, like just moves on with his life, right? But if you're a business owner, if you're trying to get leads from TikTok, I think the most important thing is having a stand in terms of what you think will be valuable for the audience and not getting swayed away by the comments. So that's something that I've done because all the clients that work with me, they're pretty much similar to me. Like they're not scared to, you know, like say something like for you, for example, you've done your TikTok. Like um, you say something about design, website design is like BS or something. And then there's tons of people who commented negatively on your, you know, on your post, but that's fine because we're taking a stance as business owners. And if you know what you're talking about, you can share whatever you want. So what I've created was like a systemized process in terms of um, what my clients will be able to share. And last week, actually last week, two weeks ago, we hit 180,000 views on one video alone. In a country like Singapore, for example, it's very rare to get 
like 200,000 views on the video because the population of the people using TikTok in Singapore is so much lower than the States, for example. So 100,000 views is equal to probably like a million views in the States. So yeah. that's something that's different. It's like a system that I've taught my team in terms of doing the hooks, editing the um, short form videos and making like the hook, the most important thing of, like, of the video itself. Yeah, and th this, this is a very big commonality between people who are able to get very good results and sign high quality clients. And it is that they, they typically have some kind of system or just in general, they're, they're so obsessed with the, with the thing and getting results for the thing and mastering the thing, which is exactly how you operate. It's not like you're just sitting here and it's, oh, I just want to run some business and make a bunch of money from it. Like you're, you're severely focused on how do I do TikTok so abnormally well? Yeah. And anytime someone comes in with that kind of mindset, it is so, so easy to run their business up. And such is also the nature with you. And it's, you just, everyone goes through the same straight line. It's the same thing over and over and over again. It's, you get some clients, you get really good at, the thing and delivering the thing and you rip some cold emails, you rip some, some ads and some organic content. And now you, now you have clients. You need to, you need to operationalize and hire people. And if yeah. you don't start doing this at 30 K 40 K 50 K a month, your whole business is going to get destroyed. It's because you're going to, the quality of your work is going to go down and you can buy as much client acquisition systems or, or yeah. setters here and only teach you how to do ads. You can buy as much as that as you want, unless you learn how to systematize and keep results high. I absolutely positively promise you, you are never going to scale. That's so now, true because... Yeah, in, in terms of what I struggled with in the past, it's like um, finding really good editors who could like match the style of content that I'm putting out for my clients. Um, that took a while. Don't get me wrong. It took about like three months, four months. But once I've hit the nail on the jackpot, like I could literally scale it um, and not worry about, you know, like operationally, like, operation wise it might crumble or not because I know that I've put my systems in place. My team members know what we're doing. We have a systemized procedure every single day in terms of producing TikTok video content, powerful video content for our clients. So in that, in a, in, in that way, like client extension has helped me a lot in terms of um, systemizing my processes. And now that I can just focus on getting the leads and signing those clients because um, that's my, that's my job as CEO of the company. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Tell me, tell, tell me, could you touch on quickly um, your take on the difference between working with like a with like a three thousand dollar per month client versus like a nine thousand dollar per month? Oh, damn! That's a really. I actually just did a short form video on that um, mm. for the sprint. Yep. Um, yeah. So I hate, absolutely abhor working with people who are not ambitious. Like if I have to convince you that TikTok is going to be the end thing for your business, you've already lost. You're not even in the game. Don't even talk to me. You know what I mean? Because I think the awareness has to be there. All of the clients that are paying like high numbers, for example, in, in my business, those are the ones who are serious and they're constantly giving me feedback on how to like improvise the content, like what kind of hooks we can test. Those are the kind of people I want to work with. I don't want to work with people who are, who can't be motivated to shoot their own content. Or like, I mean, for example, for me, I do the, the shootings for them, like with my team, but I can't be, I can't be bothered to work with people who just are not serious. It just takes my time away. Like I'm building a business and I'm not running a charity. You know what I mean? Because people, I think oftentimes when you are starting out, like the biggest challenge that people have when it comes to like creating agencies, for example, is that they're taking, you know, they'll take in any kind of clients they want. Like, oh, $2,000, just taking it. 
But what you don't realize is you will lose out on the time. They could have, otherwise you've used it for a client that will pay you $8,000 per month, for example. And if you're scared of charging X, Y, and Z amount of money for your business, I think you should really reevaluate the people that you're working with. Because at the end of the day, I'm offering a much more valuable service to people who can actually afford my service. And the results will be infinitely better than someone who's, I don't know, like, who's not serious, half, half assing the business. I don't want to work with them. Because my goal is just to build a successful business, work with successful people, and essentially be financially free. And I just want to share with you this win, like, um, like literally two weeks ago. Um, just something that is, um, actually not two weeks ago. It's a combination of this month and last month and the previous month um, all together. So building like a successful business has allowed me to just book a flight to Dubai without even thinking about it. Like I don't even think about the cost. I'm like boom, done. Because I'm signing, I'm signing clients every month, so it doesn't matter. Like, and I've, for example, bought my parents like a new car, for example. Like that's something that I'm proud of as someone who's building a business. Um, because I'm, I think that if you really nail on the operation side of things, you find the right people you work with, you find good mentors who can help you and guide you through the way. You you're set to like you know, be successful. Like there's no way that's not going to happen. Like you guys are literally bullying me to making hundred thousand dollars a month, you know? So that's something that I've seen a difference. I'm also more abundant with money. Actually, that's something I've seen differently in me this year. Um, cause previously I know a lot of creative agencies were scared to like reinvest in the marketing. Like I'm just like, I don't care. Like I'm just going full force to reinvest my marketing. Cause I think, the sole purpose of you running a business, 95% of it should be reinvesting back to the content that you're going to make to get more clients. And people who fail to do that as a CEO, you're not going to run the business for very long because if you're involved like in the weeds of the business, over time, you're just going to burn yourself out and you're not going to be able to sign more clients. That's, that's the issue. This is, um, I like, I like this point that in, in that precise language you used where you could just book a flight to Dubai and you don't even think about it. And yeah. you don't even think about it like that exact sentence. And I was talking with somebody about this exact topic yesterday. And he was, he was asking me, he's like, what motivated you and like continues to motivate you? And I said, it is, it is the ability to, like, what are you trying to show people and things like that? And I'm like, well, what I'm trying to do is like exactly what you just said right there. Like, I want to be able to like go on some trip or do something and have it not be a significant portion of like what's in my bank account or, or, a fr or, 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 or it's just a fraction of my income, yep. which is what you're trying to get to. And you want to get there without sacrificing your life. But you got to take it when I say without sacrificing your life, it's like you have to work really, really hard in the beginning. So if we sat yes. here and said, oh, Sam was able to scale his thing up to 60K a month and it was like all roses and in, 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 in skipping along the, the, the shoreline. It's like, no, it wasn't like that. It was you were you went through a period of time where you worked really, really, really hard, yes. very hard for an extended period of time. And then you were able to create a system around it. We found people and recruited people and trained them on such system. And that is what enabled you to be in the position you are now. And that is the whole goal of doing this in the first place, right? We, and it's, it's okay to, like, you can, you can psychopath scale to 100K, 200K a month, but it's like if you're just working 12 hours a day, it's like you're just going to quit, right? Yeah, I think I think it's so important. Like, also, like in client ascension, I learned to clean scale so that you. I mean, reputation wise, it's very important to only work with the people that you can actually help, as opposed to just taking any clients because there'll be a headache for you and a headache for them. You know, at the end of the day, it's obviously you want to make profit for your business, but you don't want additional drama in your life with regards to clients giving you work that you don't want to do vice versa you know what i mean so like i've learned that the hard way it's not easy like obviously it's not easy i 
I work like 14, 16 hours a day, like previously. Now I'm just focusing on like producing really quality content for my YouTube channel. And that's, that's like, like, that's the goal for me. Like I want to create a really successful YouTube channel, helping agency owners, helping people to grow on TikTok. That's my goal. And that's exactly, I think it's going to be achieved by the sprint. So I think it's going to be exciting. So 2023, I'm really looking forward to it. So um, yeah, yeah, I've got a full content team. I mean, like, I don't know what else can I ask for, man. Like, so good. <laughs> yeah, baby, isn't, uh, isn't, it, isn't it funny how, like, the, like touching on your point earlier, I was just thinking, yeah. it's funny how, like, if, if, a, if a client pays you a lot of money, it's always really funny how, like, they just happen to get the best results. Yes, that's true. That's true. The people who are, like, tie kickers, hey, I can't do this, blah, blah, blah. I can find somebody else better. Well, I'm like here's, oh. here's here's what it is: is if you sign a client who doesn't make a lot of money, one, they're not going to be able to afford as much as somebody who does. So let's say it's like a three k a month yeah. versus your nine k a month clients. Three k might be a significant amount of their monthly income or what they have in their bank account. <laughs> That's going to make them nervous or like <laughs> angry. And they're going to manufacture reasons to sabotage themselves. And that's how that will work. But if someone who they pay you 9K, it's like, well, first off, 9K probably isn't anything. And they're just, and to get into the position where 9K isn't anything to you, you have to have been the person who like gets things done in the first place. Right? Yes. So it's like a, it's like a filtering mechanism in and of itself, where it's like, I'm going to charge you this much. And the only people capable of paying that in the first place are the people with these kind of character traits anyway. Yeah. That's exactly what you want to, what you want to do for the business. Like, I think it's, I think it's much better to work with 20 qualified people as opposed to 200 qualified, like unqualified people. I agree. It's just going to add, Unadditional, like all this stress in your life. I've been at the like I've been at the end of things. Like literally, clients messaging you at three a.m. trying to call you. Hey, why isn't this done? Blah 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 blah. And I think it's just like for me when I when I scale my business, I want to enjoy what I'm doing. Like obviously the boring stuff, you don't really enjoy it, like operations and stuff. But you just get used to it. Like over time, it's a cash cow. I love what I'm doing. Like, this is something I'm really passionate about. Um, just creating powerful videos for my clients, for myself, and going in hot for 2023. So that's super exciting for me. Good stuff, brother. Do you, do you have any closing remarks to give the audience before we wrap this up? Yeah. So I jumped on a call. Actually, remember, I jumped on two calls with Dan back in June, I think, when I first joined. And whatever he said, I just kept my, my mouth shut. I just did it anyway. If, you, if you're listening to this and you're not making the amount of money that you want to make, you have to lower down your ego and actually learn from someone who's done it before. Stop trying to think, oh, I know this, blah, blah, blah. I just listen to it. Just fuck it. Just do it. You know what I mean? So, like, you shouldn't, like, I think a lot of people, especially on, like, Twitter, they have like so much like egos embedded in their life. It's like, oh yeah, I'll make 10K per month, especially the ones who are like, I'm not gonna say, like less, who, who are like 21 years old and below. <laughs> but if you are not making the amount of money, like I think the best thing you could do is just find a support system, which I think Client Ascension is the best, the best support system that you can get. And if you are the expert in your niche, for example, I'm the expert in terms of, creating powerful videos for my, for my clients. You should find the experts that can help you out in operation, you know, operation wise for your, for your business. Cause, um, when you scale invariably, that's going to be the thing that's going to help you to like get more clients, get more business. And you don't have to worry about like, Oh, what if this thing doesn't work? Blah, blah, blah. Because you have people who are winners who are const like constantly winning. So I, I feel very, Hyped when it comes to talking to you guys and like you know learning from each other. 
I think it's there's so much to learn from different people. And if you keep your options open, and if you're trying to learn something that is um, going to be really beneficial for your business and help, like actually get it done for you, I would recommend like Client Ascension. And if you don't have the money to join Client Ascension, you have to make more money to join it because it's really good. <laughs> I appreciate you, brother, very much. Thank you for coming on. I'm going to leave links to Sam's stuff in the description if you want to check him out. And brother, I'll see you inside Client Ascension. Thank you.